So we're out here today at Frost Crossing, an entry point into the Warby Ovens National Park. This is a fishway project here which is funded by the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning under their Environmental Water Works and Measures program. And this is one of six fishway projects that we've got running in the northeast area at this time. In 2012 this site was impacted by, by flooding which impacted the old gravel and rock corduroy crossing. This project involved two sites where Fish Passage was impacted, Frost Crossing here and McQuaid's Bend. McQuaid's Bend, obviously, smaller entrance to the park, smaller waterway, but equally important to the community members over there and equally important to allow fish passage through that, that waterway. Developing solutions for fish passage in all waterways, everywhere, has been identified as one of the key factors for success in the recovery of native fish populations. The Boundary Creek Anna Branch runs for about 15 kilometres along the oven, so it's important for native fish because it provides that lateral connectivity to floodplain habitats, which, when are inundated, actually provide an abundance of resources such as food and habitat shelter, and um, also prevent things like predation and competition. It's often thought about fish moving upstream for spawning, but of course it's equally as important to get them back downstream again when they need to do so. So there's about 15 species of native fish that occur in Boundary Creek, both small, medium and large sized fish. Lower Ovens has been a favourite fishing and camping area for, for many families for decades. It's an area that, because of a sandy makeup and its remoteness, even though it's close to town, people can come out and try and catch a, a Murray Cod or an nice shallow belly and because of the, the sandy composition, the access has always been not too bad. It dries it reasonably quick, but it means people can get back in here again with, with caravans and in their two-wheel drives and enjoy this area. Here it, it has a, a dual purpose. So what we're achieving here and at McQuaid's downstream is actual vehicle crossings into the National Park. It's virtually a, a low level bridge that will pass most flows and will still be as designed to be drowned out in a flood situation and, and cope with that. As the water rises and, and passes underneath the, the crossing point, the velocities increase and native fish, and particularly some of the small native fish that we're trying to pass, have very narrow tolerances for the amount of uh, energy and velocity of water that they can swim through. So the baffles are designed to create a situation where you break up the velocity of the water, create some turbulence and some eddies where fish are able to get in and have a rest and then pass through and into the next section. They don't like dark tunnels, so this um, crossing here and our other project at, at McQuaid's Bend have both been designed with concrete slabs that the vehicles will actually drive on, but the section in the middle is actually a slotted uh, metal grate that will let light penetrate down in so fish can see that they're not going into a dark tunnel because they don't like that darkness. It's a great outcome. The, the work that's been done here through the engineering design and delivery by, by the CMA has achieved a great result for, for all parties interested in this area. So all of these projects have been a strongly collaborative project with all the stakeholders involved. Mm -hmm.